Hi everyone, for our last activity, we're going to see what you can do coding with Scratch. I'm going to ask you to code an interactive animal scene like I've done here, with animals and letters doing as many different things as you can. I hope you'll use the ideas we've learned in the previous lessons to make your interactive animal scene. I'm not going to show you how to code it, but let me show you a few clues and tips and tricks that I've used. Here are some coding blocks that I've used to create this animal interactive animal scene. You can see that the letter A is spinning, the letter A is flashing different little colors. When I click on the elephant, he makes a honk and he changes costumes. The monkey is changing costumes over and over again forever. The butterfly is gliding around all over the screen. And watch what happens if you click the butterfly. Music starts. Yeah, when you click the butterfly, music starts and it goes on forever. Here's some of the coding blocks I used to create this animal, interactive animal scene. And you can use these blocks and others to help you create your very own interactive animal scene. I used when green flag is clicked. I used when this sprite is clicked. I used wait one second. I used play a certain sound until it's done. I used forever loops. I used repeat loops. I used change color effect. I used spin 15 degrees. I used next costume. I used say hello for two seconds. I used glide for one second to a random position. So I hope you'll use these coding blocks and some others and the ideas we've learned in the previous lessons to make your own interactive animal scene kind of like what I've done here. So teachers, you might want to see if your students are able to code with sequential events, repeating events, and concurrent events to create an interactive animal scene. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this one. Good luck and take your time figuring this one out. I hope you're going to have a lot of fun and I look forward to seeing you at our grade three science activities, which I've got also posted for you to use in your class. Thanks everyone. Have fun.